this area, Cadiana, is unbelievable. You know, it's debedded in Catholicism. Within our diocese, we have 36 predominantly black churches. So when we look at the rich culture of what African Americans bring to this diocese, it blends into our African roots. You know, because one of the things that when we look at, you know, even Africa, is that the worship, there's a freeing there. One common phrase that you will hear black people say is that we went to church. What does that mean? It's our worship style. We express our feelings and our whole being. It resonates with our soul. What I'm really enjoying about the Catholic Church is when you have an ensemble like that, often I'm playing just a piano, but when the drummer comes in and he starts his little thing, it lifts it up a whole nother level. Put a bass guitar, boom, 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 boom. Then you put a, a, an organ or a saxophonist and a lead guitar, you're having church. You know, when we think about the history of music in this country, you go back to slavery and in the fields, they would sing different songs. Now we know that some of those songs had hidden meaning. The fact that these people had nothing else you know, but a relationship to God. So you hear, like, you know, the whole history of the uh, Negro spirituals, that it was a connection to them and their Lord. It was a connection to each other. And even, you know, after a day's work that, you know, we see pictures of them or we were told stories as young girls of them sitting on a porch, someone having a banjo or drums. This is a part of your history. We want to be able to honor that our ties to the music and making sure that we have that gospel component. And it is um, a reflection of our history and of our culture. And we oftentimes view God through the lens of our culture and our background and the things that we've seen, you know. And so I think it's important to realize that white church, black church, we're not borrowing God from the white church and they're not borrowing God as God in both places. We are building vibrant, transformative communities, simply by being, being the face of Christ, reaching out to our brothers and sisters who do not have the means.